What is up you guys, Carolina Shore Fishing out here and we are back out on Seaview Pier and we're in store for a great day out here. They've been pulling up Kings, Blues, Spanish, everything's running through the beaches right now. So we should get on to some good fish today. Beautiful day out and it should stay like this for the remainder. Oh, that's a big one. Nice. That's a good whiting. Put him in the pool. Nice. Let me see him. Oh, yeah. Two. Why are these so slippery? Dude. Yeah, he's a whiting. He's ready to get away too. This is nine. It's pretty cool. Jesus, dude. It's like literally the slipperiest fish ever. <laughs> I was gonna show him to the uh, front of the camera and then he just squirmed right out. Next time I'll have to just like firmly grab him, put my claws into him. A little bite on him. You see? Oh, you got one. Nice. Nice whiting. Oh, you dropped him. I don't think that was whiting. It was a whiting and you dropped him. <laughs> It was a whiting. This one's ten too. <laughs> right into the bag. That's where you belong, buddy. See it? Did you, like, everybody knows when I'm getting a bite because of the camera. It felt like a tiny fish, though. See if I can snag her. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm getting away from that one. Close to your face. Nuggets. And we've got some whiting here to clean up. We're gonna fillet and make some sandwiches out of these guys. Pretty old fish. go beautiful fillet off of that whiting there it'll make a nice little sandwich for us 
We have our whiting fillets here, a little rinse as well. I keep saying as well, even though these are different videos, but I'm shooting it all together. Nice whiting fillets there will make a beautiful sandwich. Can't wait. Bagged up, throw it in the freezer, pop it out the night before, fresh comes by. So we're gonna do a country style seasoning here. I've got that in the bag and I put in a little bit of Old Bay Cajun seasoning and we'll give everything a toss up in there. We've got the blue, some Spanish mackerel and some whiting here. So it should be a great little meal. Okay, oil should be heat. Yeah, that's, that's nice. That's hot enough from the start. We've got the Spanish going right there. We've got the blue done right here. Check out those two videos. They will be out before this one. Oh, look at that beautiful filet right there. I can't wait to get it in my stomach. All right, let's put that right in. Ooh, that's gonna be a sandwich right there. I can't wait. Give our whiting a little flip here. Oh, that's looking great. No, I broke it. We'll leave it to cook a little longer. Must have been one of the last pieces. That one's ready. That one's ready. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Yes, you are. All right, and this one? It's not ready. Listen to that fish. And just like in the other videos, I have to put lemon on Mediterranean. That's just the way you eat fish. You've got to put lemon juice. If you don't eat your fish that way, give it a try. I promise you won't go back. Oh, wow. Look at that there. Beautiful sandwich piece right here. I'm going to save that for a sandwich. We can give a little taste test here. Let's do that. We'll do a, just a straight taste test, and then I'll show you guys everything fixed up in a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's some good fish right there. Mm -mm -mm. All I wanted this week was some fresh fish, and that has been provided. So glad to uh, have been able to get out there and fish. Sandwiches for fish, at least on pita bread. It's uh, not that much dough, and you get to taste all the flavors of the fish. So I enjoy it. You know. Breaking it and toast it up here. And defrost. Toast it up bread here. We will add our fish on the inside. Ooh, that looks good. Let's do slice two of tomato, a couple slices here of fish, just like that, and we'll do some baby arugula and spinach. I love that tanginess, that bitterness that you get from the arugula. Look at that sandwich right there. We'll do a quick squirt here of uh, some lemon juice. And the last thing that I'll add, this wild style chipotle sauce that uh, I picked up from the store. Oh, how did that happen? You don't need a lot. Flavor goes a long way. And we'll do a quick little taste test of the sandwich here. I know it's gonna be amazing already. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna enjoy this now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one.